So I'm going to issue a formal and very public apology to Richie. Still doesn't get that name out of this mouth. But I'm going to issue an apology. And it's not quite what you might think because some of his actions are not dismissible in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I'm not, not trying to stir anything up. Uh, but I do want to apologize on this one thing. So hear me out. Let me explain. So I've been in this community now for a while since I've said it many times, January 2021. I can easily prove that if I need to. Uh, but I've been mostly hanging out in the comments, right? So hanging out in the comments and I've seen the division. I've seen the negativity. I've seen the toxicity. I've seen the hate, the bullying, just the nastiness. There is good too. Don't get me wrong. But I've seen, uh, there's a lot of, just a lot of bad shit. I've seen it all in the comments, but um it's not until like you put yourself in this position. So I've been making videos just over a month and a couple days now. So when I put myself in this position, essentially I'm, you know, I'm center stage. I'm in the spotlight on this channel and everything, all the comments are directed at you and you alone. So it's not like when you're in, so you, you people in the comments, like you say your, you know, you say your nasty things, then you go on your day and then you go do it in a bunch of other videos. Um, you're not getting flooded. Like I'm getting flooded in <laughs> with comments in a lot of my videos uh, and they're mostly good. Don't get me wrong, but you know, there is hate down there. And then there's the other thing too, is the, the bots and the shields, like it just starts to fuck with your head a little bit. So I'm not like, don't, don't at all think like, I'm not cracking. Don't get me wrong. I'm, this isn't me cracking. I'm not losing it or anything like that because it's going to take a lot, <laughs> a lot to crack this mind. I'm pretty mentally tough. You have to be, if you run the kind of miles and you run ultra marathons, takes a certain kind of person a certain kind of mind to do that shit so anyways this isn't me cracking but i can see and i guess this is where the apology comes in is i can see how someone and rich i'm not saying you're a basket case or anything like that i'm not a psychologist i'm not diagnosing you or psychoanalyzing you or anything but i could see how somebody who um guy's got a lot going on in his life i guess what i'm trying to say um or it seems anyways is I could see how somebody who was a little bit unstable that this would just completely fuck with you um, and we did see that with Richie, like, you know, <laughs> there were moments where, you know, I even stopped commenting some, cause I, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. I even stopped commenting. Cause I was like, man, the, the, this guy's on the brink of like, like it appeared anyways, like losing his mind and started to feel bad. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is like, you know, down in the comments, um, it just, it fucks with your head a little bit because it's more the bots and the shills, the hate. I don't care. I ignore it, but the bots and the shills, like you don't know what are bots, what are shills. And that stuff starts to fuck with your head a lot because you know, you get people like I get comments like, Oh, it's not going to squeeze. And then you ask, okay, how come? And then they just repeat the same thing. It's not going to squeeze. It's like, okay, well, obviously that's a bot. Like they don't even respond to the question. They have no intelligent rebuttal or intelligent thing to say to the question. Um, but you just see it. And some of the stuff you don't know, like I've even been baited with this and I consider myself a smart guy. Like it looks like a legitimate profile. They ask what looks like a legitimate question. I reply to it because I do. I, I'm having a hard time replying to all comments now because I just keep getting flooded and I'm busy. Um, but I do read everything and I am still trying to reply to everything, but I get baited. It doesn't happen anymore because I can see it now, but I got baited a few times. These fucking people, it's like a legitimate question. I reply and then you can see the scam, right? Then the, all the other bots come in and, oh yeah, this you know guru on CNBC, Google him and he helped me make blah, blah, blah in trading, Google him, buy his course, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, for fuck's sakes, like, okay, I feel like an idiot. I got, I got baited by a bot. So the only censorship you see on this channel is those people get deleted. The scams, the outright, like just completely undeniable scams, they get deleted. But anybody else, if your comment is deleted, please repost it, reword it because it's Google filtering you out. I don't delete or censor anyone because that was one of the big problems I have. But basically, long story short, here's where my apology comes in is Richie, you know, you know, Craig, right? You remember Craig? <laughs> this is Craig. I was really, I, you know, I was one of these just these bullies, these haters that, and I took it too far. I know I took it too far. I was really hard on you in your comments and, um, it's just not cool. It's not who, it's not who I actually am. It's not who I want to be as a man. It's not who I want my kids to become and raise them to be like, but I just got caught up in it. Right. It's like the, the mob mentality. Right. And this isn't an excuse. I get, I guess it sounds like an excuse, but I'm not trying to make an excuse, but I got caught up in this mob mentality of everybody just hating on you. Hate, 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 hate. And you know, 
I started to see, which is why I pulled back, is I started to see the cracks forming, and I was like, man, it's, I don't know. I don't want this guy to, like, kill himself or anything. Like, I don't, I don't want that to happen. He's got kids. He's got a wife. Um, so I pulled back. And I guess, again, this is just my formal apology on it because uh, whatever you want to call it, like harassment, bullying, or whatever, I just, I've never been a part of a community that has been so toxic. You know, we all have the same common goal, but there's just so much division and infighting and toxicity and negativity. And I don't understand it. Like, I'm trying to because I'm, I'm, I'm not a psychologist, but I really enjoy psychology. So I'm trying to like understand it. Like where are they, where's this coming from? Why are these people acting this way? Are they bots? Are they shills? Like what the fuck is happening? Um, so it's kind of fascinating in a sense, but it's just, there's just so much negativity. Like people just, I don't know. Like, does, does it feel good? Like to do that? I don't know. Like I'm just, again, I, it's, I'm not cracking here. It's going to take a lot to do that. I can take it, but I'm just, I'm just curious as a whole. Like, why are we doing this to ourselves? Was this what they had planned? Is this the Hedgie's mission, you know, mission, winning the mission, the war, so to speak, by planting all these shills and these bots and all these idiots and all this hate to create this division? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Let me know down below. I saw a psychology study that was really interesting. Obviously, it never happened because it was quite controversial, very controversial, but it was interesting and it sort of, sort of relates to this. Basically, I can't remember the psychologist's name, um, but what he was proposing is because there is like, obviously there is consequences to actions, right? Every action has a consequence and even the keyboard warriors and your little typing down there in the comments, um, they do have consequences. Like, even though I can take it, some people can. Like, look at our boy, Le Lord Nemesis. When I watched that video, man, my heart was just breaking for the guy. Like, he was nearly in tears um, for a different reason, though. But, you know, that's that's how much your words can impact people. Your keyboard warrior, warrioring, <laughs> that's not a word, um, can have real physical and emotional effects on people. Because we are just people at the end of the day. Like, some of you think we're these fucking YouTubers. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. Uh, but we're just normal people at the end of the day, right? And we do have feelings, we do have emotions. But anyways, so this study was, um, again, all about consequences, right? And very controversial, but he proposed that before the United States of American president were to launch any nukes, if he ever or if he ever had to launch a nuke, what he would have to do is there would be a capsule with the nuclear codes implanted in one of his chief of staffs, one of his right-hand men or women, being planted in their heart, and he would have to stab and kill them to remove this capsule. Like I said, very controversial. But the purpose, the psychologist's thesis was that the president, before he hits that nuke button, he does not have first-hand account of the bloodshed he's about, and the, the killing he's about about to do even though they might he might have to but anyways the thesis was that he would have to get blood on his own hands first he would have to see the physical blood and the death of his chief of staff next to him so that there would be a little bit of a um just a connection to what he was about to do because it might change his decision because it's easy just with with no blood on your hands and nobody dead next to you it's easy just hit the button gone send them send it Fucking um, phone storage, man. It's killing me. Killing me. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying is just with that little bit of bloodshed on his hands, it just might make him think a little bit differently about what he's about to do. Or at the very least, just know the consequences about what he's going to do. He might still have to do it anyways, but at least he would know the consequences. I don't know. Very controversial study. Obviously, it never happened. And I'm not proposing that it needs to happen just kind of kind of relates to this keyboard warrior stuff a little bit right it's just there is no consequences for you guys down there so again i don't know richie it was really hard on you man and this is me formally apologizing i do feel bad uh, because i said a lot of nasty shit to you and whether again this is not at all about whether it was deserving or not um because you have done some things that i still don't feel should be dismissed uh, but whatever that's here you know that's not here nor there it's just mono to mono right that's just how i feel it's just my opinion but i do want to formally apologize because yeah i was one of those nasty fucking haters down in your comments and 
just not cool, man. We're we're all in this together. Whether we like each other or not, whether we disagree or agree with each other or not, we are all in this crazy play together, all after one common goal, the same goal. That's it. That's all I got. Peace.